wooded rock came by the name rock because you know everything natural that God has made especially when you are entering to bodybuilding you need to carve or mold the body in such a way that although it's rough but smooth and nice that's how I came by the name the molded rock I'm a married man and uh, I've been in the game professionally three years Ghanaian, we used to go to ghetto gyms, so on and so forth. So that is where I got inspired. But actually, Dambudu introduced me into bodybuilding. And uh, afterwards, I met uh, Victor Bailey. He also took me through. And uh, I came to meet uh, Mike Siedu, an IFBB pro. He also took me through. And I've gone through international shows, which have won good medals and uh, some other medals. <laughs> Bodybuilding is a way that you present yourself or maybe you sketch or mold something to make it beautiful. Anything that you have, especially when you like a porter, that he carves an object to make the object beautiful so that you can present it and anyone who sees the art purchases it. I put myself together in such a way that whenever I'm on stage, you see me, you see how beautiful I've molded the body, how I've carved or craft to present myself for you to buy the product that I have. This is what I do and then this is what I've been going through for the past three years which I've been on the international stage. Ghana is one of the best places you can find good athletes, bodybuilders, who can excel internationally because naturally we have the genes, we have the genetics. Ghanaians, some way, some while, for instance, let me take example, people on the roadside, those who have been digging, gold diggers, who have been digging, so on and so forth. You don't see them eating well, but genetically, you see that they have what it takes to be a bodybuilder. I feel inspired, I feel like a champion because when I entered into this game, my idea was to compete on the international stage. I never thought of winning gold medal. I never thought of winning a medal to our nation. I find myself that I was not prepared. Why? Because we were lacking sponsors. We were lacking a lot of things. Nobody came to our aid. I had my visa at the last minute to go and compete on the international stage. And we were about 54. And I placed seventh position. And that motivated me. Hey! First up from Ghana, athlete 454, Oliver Fredbeck. Trust me, the following year, I went back to and I placed fourth. The coming year, 2017, I went and I placed first, which I won the gold medal and I competed with the champions. This bodybuilding comes, it's an expensive sport, you know. It's an expensive sport, so you don't need your only self to do bodybuilding. It involves masseuse, coach, food supplement, having time to train for like 16 to 14 weeks. I want to thank Total Fitness. They have been a proud sponsor to us. They have given us the necessary equipment in terms of uh, gym facility. If we should have the government or maybe the Ministry of Sports coming to our aid, because we are not talking about only bodybuilding as such, but we're talking of fitness, we're talking of awareness, so that we wouldn't be spending much money going to the hospital. The, the government or maybe corporate entity, if they should come to our aid, look, Ghana will be a better place when we're talking of health. Ghana will be the best place that the whole world can talk about. I stood in as an ambassador for bodybuilders. We brought the whole Ghana macho bodybuilders, langas, we brought all of them together. We campaigned that we said no violence to the upcoming election which of course the Kumasi, the Ashant, the, the Takradi, the Accra, we all came together to fight against violence. That flex for peace which of course uh, I'll give thumbs up to Multimedia, Joy FM, Adum FM and so on and forth. They all played a part. I flex for peace and I also flex for peace. I stand for peace. 
one thing I want to let people know is that this Moses is not for violence, but it's what Moses of love. You understand? Uh, I'm a freight forwarder with uh, His Excellency Shipping at Temahabo. I'm the operations manager there. We do clearing and forwarding, export and import. Uh, you know how it feels to invest your energy, your time, your resources in order to place or to, uh, to lift the name of your nation high. This is a situation whereby if the world could recognize that, not even our own nation Ghana could even recognize it. They don't even appreciate what you've even done. I don't say this only for myself, but I know that most of the athletes have been going through this. It pains for you to, I mean, invest in, uh, I mean, the sports just because you want to leave the name of our nation Ghana high. Hey! Oliver, Oliver! And if you should have something like a warehousing gym where people can, I mean, find yourself there and then get proper instructors to train them in order to get proportional uh, balance or maybe to put yourself in there in a good shape, hurting yourself, injuring yourself. So somebody, sometimes you see somebody and they will be complaining, oh, Mr. Oliver, please, I've been training, I want to get this, I want to get that, but when I do this, I get this kind of back pain, so on and so forth. It's because the person doesn't have a clue of what he's doing. Sometimes you find them doing the wrong thing, and you know, because of social media, people do all kinds of training and then posting and say, what, what are you doing? <laughs> You can be at the gym, train for a year, you understand? But I can be at the gym, I can use maybe four months and three months and then what? Get what I want. Why? Because I'm using the proper mechanism. <coughs> what I find in Ghana or most people, what they do is that they only train the upper body and then leave the what? The lower body. It's like constructing a house. When you don't put a proper foundation, you collapse the what? The house.